This acquaintance lives in Krivirich. Many of her relatives live in the east. And one aunt calls to this acquaintance and says that on, say, apartments in Krivirich became cheaper. Well, she says, I'd like to buy an apartment. We gathered money from Prisyatki and want to buy a flat. And this acquaintance, let's call her Masha, didn't understand, firstly, what is Prisyatki. And asked, what is that? Then started to tell that they sat and lay down under our tanks, APCs, our vehicle, when our troop was moving. By so doing, they stopped convoy. As a result, our soldiers were either captured or killed right away. And they were getting money for this, near $100 per person per one prisyatka. So she with her husband was active participants of this prisyatki. And now, because there is almost no place to live, even after the victory, many things must be rebuilt and reconstructed there. While Krivirich is a pretty civilized and big town, they decided to buy apartment there. However, her actions and wishes show cynicism and lack of principles in these people. Because how you can buy a flat there where soldiers were killed with your help? Krivirich buried many guys. And nevertheless, you want to buy a flat there, knowing that with your assistance people were killed. This I don't know. This is the same as if to kill the owner at the table, then push him with a leg, sit and continue to eat his borscht, the one he was just eating. <laughs>